Welcome back to your Delta News on Fox. We are currently taking a live look outside. We are facing Highway 49 North at the Mississippi River Bridge, and we are taking a look at those currents. It is looking good out there. So we will have more of a check-in of our forecast with Karen. We have partly cloudy conditions out there, and for the most part, as we look at, and I went past it, but that's all right. It's very quiet on our radar, only a few little showers, but that's okay. It's going to get warm, and it's going to get warm in a hurry. 8 a.m., 76 degrees, partly cloudy skies, and then by noon, it'll get windy, and you'll see a little more sun, 85 degrees, and then by 4 p.m., 89 degrees. It will be hot, and it will be a, almost a pre-summer breeze, if you want to think of it that way. Greenwood, good morning. You're at 75 degrees right now, and you have a southerly wind at 10 miles per hour. And notice it still feels like 75 degrees, but look, that dew point, that dew point is going up and it's starting to feel uncomfortable out there, and your hair is going to suffer today and the next few days because it is going to be quite humid. Greenville, good morning to you. You're at 76 with the south wind of 14 miles per hour. And then again with you, you're going to have that dew point at 71 degrees, so it's not going to be hair friendly at all. But at least we have a little bit of movement in the air, but it still is going to be hot. Now looking at the wider view of our temperatures on so the south is 80 degrees down in New Orleans, 78 in Lake Charles, 79 down in Houston, Shreveport, 76 degrees, 71 in Dallas. And notice out in Oklahoma City, 59 degrees, and that's because they've had some showers out there, so that's why it's a little cool out there. Now, as we look at our radar, you can see this is the system that's moving pretty much to the north and east, and I think we're going to just skirt right by, other than maybe Clarksdale might see a shower. But other than that, to our west, you have flood watches and warnings that are in effect until at least 11.15 this morning. But for the most of us that are down to the south, it's going to be pretty quiet out there. Now, looking at the future tracker, you have that southerly flow coming up out of the Gulf, which is going to bring us that warm air. It's going to feel a little humid as well because that's the way Gulf air is right now. And for the most part, we have that one system that's kind of moving, it's kind of meandering, but it's not coming in our direction. If anything, we have that high pressure system to thank and it's gonna keep us pretty much hot and humid for the next few days. Now looking at the Mississippi River levels at Greenville, 54.4 feet above flood stage and it's going to continue to be above flood stage, <clears throat> excuse me, until the next few days. Now, looking at our forecast, we have partly cloudy skies. It will be breezy. We'll have a chance of a shower, 90 degrees. And those gusts are going to be anywhere up to 35 to 40 miles per hour. So at least there's a little air stirring, but still it's going to be a hot one. Mostly clear tonight. It'll be a tad bit warm, 72 degrees. We'll still keep those gusts. And then we'll have for tomorrow, Sunny skies it will be breezy and we'll still keep those gusts at 20 miles per hour. And then for that seven day forecast, I don't have but very few clouds up there, but it's going to be mostly sunny, 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 hot, hot, hot. And then by Memorial Day, it's still going to be hazy, hot and humid. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at that. Degrees. Oh, yeah. Get out your fans and get out your shorts and your sunscreen and your sunblock. You're going to need everything. And the most important thing, if you're going to be out for mm -hmm. an extended period, just remember to stay hydrated mm -hmm. with water. And that's what I'm going to say, water. Right. That's what you want to do. Water, you heard Karen. <laughs> and with the summer approaching, we have the first named storm of the 2019th Atlantic hurricane season. Karen gave me this on yesterday. A subtropical storm, Andrea, is a hundreds of miles southwest of the Bermuda with sustained winds of 40 miles per hour. Andrea is expected to move toward the north and northeast over the next two days. The storm is not a threat to the uh, U.S. East Coast. Yes, now I want to give a little bit, of, just a little bit of up, you know, a factoid here. Um, pretty much now it's considered to be extra tropical, so... What that means is now that it's pretty much 
pretty much to the extreme north now. It is approaching colder ocean water mm. temperatures, and that's what's killing that storm right now. So okay. it's just basically showers, thunderstorms. That's what that's what that mainly is right now. So mm -hmm. we don't have to worry about that. It's just that this is the fifth year in a row that we've had a named storm before hurricane season. Oh my. Oh, I don't know if that's, yes. I don't think that's good because we <laughs> know what these hurricanes have been doing to us as of these latest two, three years. Mm -hmm. But thank you, Karen. And we will have more coming up on your Delta News on Fox after the break.